Stop opening vintage toys for the views. Let's start drama. Welcome back to the Junkman, everybody. It's me, the Junkman, coming back at you with another video. Don't worry, this isn't people reacting to the scenes they like during the sequel trilogy. Whew, you guys ripped me a new one on that one. I don't see how just uploading a video of people enjoying scenes from a movie could get you so angry at me. Oh, anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to upset some more people probably. Because I'm going to tell you how you should collect what you buy. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's a little extreme. But there seems to be a new trend going around of people opening vintage toys. And I'm not talking about a $2 figure on a card that's worth that's worth a dollar loose and two dollars on card i'm talking rare stuff i'm talking hundreds of dollars box items or carded figures you know what i mean and open them up just for the views or just to upset the snobby collectors and I'm, i can be a snobby collector and i can also do stuff just to get people riled up i'm not saying that's bad but i'm not gonna open a vintage star wars toy just to get some laws and just to get some views and now before you attack me, there's probably about six things I always hear people defending why it's okay to open vintage toys. And let me start off again by saying I'm talking rare stuff. I'm not talking about cheap figures that's worth two, three dollars and you can get them loose or carded about the same price. I'm talking rare or expensive items. So here's the one thing I hear the most whenever I mention this. It's my money. I can do what I want with whatever I buy. It's true. You can buy a yak face on card and you can rip it open and piss all over it. It's your money. You can do whatever you want to with it. But that doesn't mean that people like me can't call you an asshole for doing it. Doesn't mean you're not an asshole either. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. So you can give me all that as, hey, I bought it with my money. I want to open it. I'm going to open it. Good open it and then i'll be over here with some other ones saying hey look at this asshole over here because you will be an asshole there's no simple way about it you can make any excuse in the world but in my views you're an asshole sorry but you're being an asshole again we're talking rare items because i know someone's going to say in the comments about how how they picked up the chuck norris figure and opened it and paid eight dollars for it we're talking rare here's another one i hear all the time too your rule not my rule i don't have to go by your rules i make my own rules because i'm a rebel <sighs> it's not about rules it's not about what my rules say and your rules say it's about being polite it's about doing the right thing it's about your fellow collector it's not all about you and your collection it's not all about hey i want to open this so i'm gonna open it screw f off to anyone else what happened to the collector world I can remember starting collecting vintage of the 90s and I know it's changed a lot with eBay and everything there but we were we helped each other out and there's still some Facebook groups uh, and other social media places where people help each other out there was a time where if you needed something and I needed something you had it I had it we would swap it didn't come with yours is worth this mine is worth that let's just swap I get what I want you get what you want it doesn't work like that doesn't seem like it works like that today. Now it's, hey, I got mine. Screw you getting yours. But we'll touch more into that at number four. Again, it's not my rules versus your rules. It's society being polite versus you being an asshole. How much you want for it? Uh, this, oh, no. You know what? I don't think I'm selling it this week. Maybe next oh, week. Oh, no. You said that last week. Number three is a little different. If you're going to open a vintage toy on YouTube, admit why you're doing it. Don't give me the old, well, I found one in a box at a decent price. So I bought it because I wanted one mint. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You might have got a deal on it, but that's not why. You're doing it for the views. Say it. Say, hey, I bought this. I want to be an asshole. I want to open it up. I want to trigger people. I want to upset snobby collectors like junk man and you're doing it to get the views and the attention that's like if i was a grown man and i bought a bunch of star wars figures just to melt them down not doing it just for the fun of melting down figures you're doing it just to trigger the collectors and to be an asshole now why would you sell it to me and not to him 
Because you're not a geek, Lewis. You guys are snob. And let's get to number four. If you have a something in box, mint condition, and you don't want it, but you want it loose mint, don't open it. Trade it. You can always find a... There's a lot of collectors out there that would love to have rare items still in the box. Again, rare items. And I don't mean extremely rare. I'm talking about anything that's worth a lot of money. Hundreds of dollars. Hell, I would say anything over $50. You're being an asshole if you're opening it. Probably, probably a good scoot that number around to maybe a little less. But $50, most people can afford it in the box. But we're talking eight nine hundred dollars for a box item and you want to open it just for the views you want to open it just because you want one in mint that's being a fucking asshole sorry my language i'm sorry i know there's some things you can't say on youtube but i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but you you're a fucking asshole a fucking asshole so let's say you got the mint one let's say you found this eight hundred dollar thing in mint condition but you want one loose Go to Facebook, go to Twitter, go to social media, go somewhere, trade it. Someone's got a loose one that's in mint condition, has all the parts, probably never really been played with, and they'll be happy to swap it for one in the box for you. Or sell it and buy one in the box. Don't have to ruin a sealed package toy just because you want one in mint condition. Think about your other collectors. Maybe little Tommy Thompson over there can't collect box stuff because it costs too much. He don't have the finance to lay down six, seven hundred dollars for a box item. So he's going to buy it loose, save up for a couple hundred dollars, buys it loose, dreaming one day, hey, I'll have it in the box. That's cool. Hey, maybe he loves the box art, thinks it looks cool and everything. And you got one. Ripping it open just so you can have one in mint loose condition, just like Tommy Thompson. No, that's not the thing to do. You reach out to Tommy, you say, hey, Tommy. Let's switch here. We'll even make a video about it for the views. You send me your loose, I'll send you my box one, and we'll both do a video together, us being excited about the new toy we got. That's how you don't be an asshole. But it seems to be one thing we all know. Online, there's a lot of assholes. Seriously, you're totally elitist. You feel like the unappreciated scholars, so you shit on the people who know less than you. No. Oh, which is everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just sad. And here's something, I don't hear this one much, but I heard it today on Twitter when I talked about this, so I thought I'd bring it up here. And it's, what if you fart on a hot dog? And are those hot dogs that you didn't fart on worth more money? Or not worth money anymore? I don't know. I don't know what any of that means. I don't have a comment on that one, sorry. I don't know. Maybe if hot dogs were rare, maybe if hot dogs didn't sell for a dollar each and they sold for like $600, maybe I could translate that, but I really don't know what that means. Anyway, I know some of you are going to say, Junk man, I collect this stuff for the fun and enjoyment of it. If I get a deal one in the box, I'm going to open it and enjoy it. I love that feeling of ripping the box, taking the bubble off, that new smell. I get all that. I do get it. I get how fun it would be to take a yak face and rip the bubble off. Oh, that satisfying feeling. I can imagine taking a Death Star, place it in the box, ripping it open like you're a kid again. I get that. But that doesn't mean you have to be an asshole. Again, you can always find someone to trade, someone that wants that mint box, and get a loose one for it. Because if you're just opening that box for that thrill of opening a box for the first time, that ripping of the bubble and the cardboard, that goes away in about two seconds. And you've ruined some history. But let me know in the comments below. Maybe you can change your mind. Maybe there's some reason I haven't thought of yet. I'm open to discussion. There's one thing that we all need to do is talk more. Put something in the comments section, I'll see it. I always give it a little heart to let you know I read it. Even if I don't apply to it, you know at least I read it. So don't be one of those people that tell people what they should and shouldn't talk about in their comment section. Let's talk about anything we can. Again, I might be wrong. You might point out some stuff I hadn't thought about. And I might say, hey, you're right. What about if it's not in mint condition? What if it's worth a lot of money, but it's in horrible shape? What if you found a Jawa on a card and it looked like this? Is that okay? And jump man's eyes to open? That is a good question. I see a dilemma there. I mean, come on. This? Come on. This? Charge it. This? 
I probably wouldn't lose any sleep if someone did open it. But if I had one that looked like that, I think I'll at least try to trade it. Because I know there's some people out there that really collect damaged cards like that. They really like the damage. I don't know about that damage. But they like, you know, beat up cards and beat up figures. So I might want to reach out to them first before I open it. But And again, let me just say, I'm not saying these are the rules of being a collector. These are just how I feel. It's kind of like the reproductions. I don't want them. I don't want them anywhere in my collection. I don't. It makes it hard trying to buy stuff online. But if you love reproduction figures or weapons, you want them in your collection, you're fine with them, more power to you. Go ahead. Put them in your collection. They're just not for me. Collect what you like and how you want to collect it. But expect to be called out if you're opening vintage toys, especially if you're just opening them online for the views. If you open them in the privacy of your own home, Keep it to yourself, right? If you're doing it just for the views, that's being an asshole. If you're doing it just because you got money to buy a rare figure in a box, you don't care about $800, that's nothing to you, that's being an asshole. If you're not trying first to trade it and someone's got it loose so you can have it loose and they can have it boxed, that's being an asshole. Take it from me, from someone that can be an asshole at times, don't be an asshole. They stink. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, feel free to say anything in the comments you want to. Now, I won't delete it, but certain words will get flagged by YouTube, so don't think I'm deleting them. Don't if you're cussing me out or anything. Uh, but feel free. Go on Twitter and cuss me out over there if you want to. Again, collect what you want to collect. Just think about others before you head out to make that video or that social media post that's going to outrage the snobby collectors because, yeah, People that take action figure collecting serious, like I do at times, we can be collector snobs. Is that good or bad? It is what it is. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And you bet we'll talk again. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.